My name is Clyde Lawrence. I'm Cody Fitzgerald. And we are the composers for the Disney Plus Christmas movie, Noah. It's about a girl who is ostracized by the rest of the North Pole community and goes down to Phoenix, Arizona to find her brother and save Christmas. We were just friends in college. Yeah. Both of our bands were constantly playing shows around campus. I'm in a band called Lawrence. I'm in a band called Stolen Jars. The funny thing about me and Cody is that we have incredibly different musical styles, but we actually, I think, found this common ground. For each of us, our music is really all about warmth, joy, and like drama. An emotional core to the music. Yeah, I have grown up around this world, obviously. The older gentleman you spoke to before was my father, the director. I love scoring um, because unlike shooting the movie, I'm not primarily responsible. I'm just here to give annoying notes. Just asking unbelievably rhetorical, obvious questions, sure. but I'm asking them anyway. Uh, Clyde was kind of pretty much a musician uh, on his way out of the womb, or probably before. Uh, his first movie assignment was writing the theme song for Miss Congeniality when he was six. Obviously, I'm not incredibly objective. On the other hand, I think he is uh, the best musician and uh, one of the best composers I, I, I know. And Cody is brilliantly talented, and the combination of the two of them I knew was going to work and be right for this movie. We are trying to bring a lot of different things to the table with this score. We are the youngest composers of a Disney film in history, apparently. We do not take the trust that they've put in us lightly. They've been incredibly supportive, but we've put an immense amount of pressure and expectation on ourselves. We have grown up, I think both of us, absolutely admiring and loving um, everything that it means to be a big Disney score. We wanted to respect that and bring that in, and it's been a lifelong dream to do that. Yeah. At the same time, we wanted to do something special and different. I think generally when you think about a Christmas movie, you think about uh, bells and chimes and sleigh bells and the kind of sounds that you are used to hearing at Christmas time. What's really great about what Clyde and Cody have done with this score is there's a lot of really interesting um, electronic sounds that they've used that are similar to those sounds, but kind of new and fresh sounding and interesting sounding. You know, half of the score is being played by 70 people in this beautiful room, <laughs> and we're going to combine that in a perfect ratio with the other 50% of the score, which has been played by the two of us in our bedrooms. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully it'll sound cool. <laughs> Bringing in, you know, synths and uh, electronic, you know, elements and like auto-tune vocals and like weird guitar things and all making that part of this crazy texture that feels warm and nostalgic. With some films, when you come in with the orchestra, that's the first uh, piece of music that you're working with. In this case, Clyde and Cody have done a lot of work pre-recording material, and so we're then adding the orchestra to those sounds. The way they're doing it on this film is, is very, very interesting and very unique. The people playing on this score are some of the best, best musicians in New York, and frankly, they sound more like one person than 70. Like, they're more coordinated with each other than the 10 fingers that I have that <laughs> on my keyboard. Our hope is not that some of the moments sound like total synthy, poppy 2019 sounds, and some of the moments sound like straight out of cartoon era Disney. <laughs> Our hope is that all of it sounds like this really cool hybrid of the two. What you have to keep in mind while you're doing a Christmas movie is that people come to it with tons of preconceptions. In composing original Christmas songs, we wanted them to be legitimate songs that play into maybe not Christmas, but play into like what Christmas means. Be nice, and that's the upbeat, like hip hop version of a Christmas song. There's an original song in the score called Eventually that was pretty much the first thing that we brought to the table. We had some ideas for what the score would generally sound like, 
and we had this one song. It continued to exist as the main theme in the movie um, that represents all of the magic and wonder and Christmas cheer of the story. Somebody, it could be anybody really, like who's been told their whole life that they're going to one day realize what they're meant to do. Being constantly told, eventually you're gonna figure it out, eventually you're gonna figure it out. And one day realizing, this is eventually, this is my moment, I'm gonna be the person I was always supposed to be. I want the song to be something that anyone who feels that way can relate to it. It doesn't have to be about becoming Santa Claus. Although everyone becomes Santa Claus <laughs> at some point, so right. it's very relatable in that sense. Um, <laughs> If you've done your job right as a composer, 99% of people are not even going to have necessarily noticed the score. Yeah. They're just gonna notice, wow, that scene made me cry. Yeah, that's you know? really what it should be. You're gonna be like, wow, that scene really was beautiful, and hopefully that was 50% because of the score. <laughs> and then they're gonna wake up the next day and be brushing their teeth and going, na 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 <laughs> They're gonna realize that the score was really good. <laughs>